Well, I love a good challenge. Uh, get the country name from the phone number. So, hey, I got uh, tagged on LinkedIn. Uh, someone named YS had this Excel challenge, had this list of phone numbers. They all start with a plus sign and they identified the uh, country code in the country and said any formula that could use a lookup table to get the country out of the phone number and tagged a few uh, people that he knew in Excel. And thanks to Daniel who uh, tagged me and said, uh, let's see if Bill can help. He loves these challenges and questions. Maybe he'll make a video. And yes, here it is, the video. All right, so the first thing, I took the, the data that Yitzi posted and I said, um, you know, is this gonna be easy? Can we just subtract the phone number from the end? Like in the United States, phone numbers are all 10 digits, right? But I did the, did the math. Uh, so take out, uh, figure out the length, take out the length without the, the plus sign. And then the country length I know is 44, 41, 350. So two, two, three and US is just one. Uh, and that means that the phone number length is not consistent, right? We can't just assume it's 10 digits and then take everything off the end because some countries use nine or eight. Okay, so then I realized we're gonna have to do all countries. I found this great thing on the web, scraped it, brought it into, um, into Excel. There were some weird things like dashes. I got rid of the dashes. And then the thing that completely I was not expecting, uh, but I'm glad I checked home, conditional formatting, highlight cells, duplicate values. Can you believe this? There are places uh, that all have the same country code. So Australia, Christmas Island, Cocos Island, uh, New Zealand, and is that Pitcairn? Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, shoot, US and Canada, Russia and Kazakhstan, uh, and more, all right? So a few of these, I just cheated and said, all right, if you have 47, then it's either Norway or these. Um, if it's 61, it's probably Australia, but it might be Christmas Island or Cocos Island. Uh, but US and Canada, I had to split those out. Um, so for me, I went and found the 50 country codes for Canada and said, if it starts with a one followed by these three digits, then it's Canada. Um, and I probably should go do the same thing for Russia or Kazakhstan, but in this case, I didn't. All right, so I ended up with a really long list of every possible country code and the country that it belongs to. And then I realized that because we don't know how many digits there's gonna be from the, the left, we have to organize this by the number of digits in the country code. So I took all the six digit country codes in the country and I named that. Now, my idea was to name this CC6. It turns out you can't name it CC6 because that's a cell, <laughs> darn it. So I called it six, S-I-X. And then here, all the four digit country codes, I called four, F-O-U-R. And then here, all the three digit country codes, I called three and then two and then uh, Russia, United States, Kazakhstan are the one digit codes. All right, so I have those five named ranges. Now, to get the country code, what we're gonna do, it's pretty easy at first. We're just gonna do a VLOOKUP of the first six digits after the plus sign into here, all right? If it happens to be 441481, we know it is currency, we got, you know, like we're done, all right? But the odds are it's not gonna be one of these. And so then if that returns an NA, so if it is NA, then we need to come and look at the first four digits after the plus sign and see if it's in this table. If it is, we're done. Otherwise, the first three digits after the plus sign in this table, then the two digits after the plus sign in this table, and then the one digit after the plus sign in this table. All right, this formula is not bad. And I, I like this formula. I know you could do this with let, right? But it's just really simple to me and anyone, you know, who can do a VLOOKUP or index and match in Excel is going to understand this. All right, so here's the VLOOKUP of the phone number starting in position two because of the plus sign. We want six digits. That's gonna return text, of course, so I add zero to coerce it back into a number. Look at our VLOOKUP table called six, get the second item, uh, and zero for false for an exact match. All right, but see the FNA has two, two components, the VLOOKUP, and if that VLOOKUP returns an NA, then we're gonna move on and grab the four digits after the plus sign and look in the table called four. And if that's an NA, then we're gonna move on and grab the three digits after the plus sign, and then the two digits, and then one. And finally, if none of those work, then we're just gonna admit defeat and call it an error. Okay, so simple little formula, but of course you can't just take this formula and put it into your sheet because you don't have these five named ranges. But here, I think, 
is what's going to be the really easy way to do this. Down in the YouTube description, I'm gonna put this link. We're gonna come out to Chrome and paste that link. And you should end up at this workbook. Uh, and then what we can do is file, save as, download a copy. And there we are, so there's our country code lookup. Open that. Okay, so now here you are on your computer. You're gonna enable it editing. And what we want to do is get these five named ranges over to your workbook. So right here I have any list of phone numbers, right? And you have sheets in your workbook, you know, whatever they are. Uh, we're gonna to come to country code lookups. I'm gonna right click on sheet one, move or copy, create a copy to any list of phone numbers, move to end, and that should successfully create a list of range names. There they are. So those names range are, are all there. So now we should just be able to take this cell and copy it to your first phone phone number. Double click to copy that down. And I think, I think you're gonna have a pretty reliable formula that will take these numbers and pull out the country for those. Okay, wait, let's make it safer. So Yitzi's numbers all started with a plus sign and this formula will work for that. If you have phone numbers that don't start with a plus sign, they're either numbers or text, then this alternate formula here uh, is better. It starts at the first position instead of the second position. And if it's a mix of both plus signs and not plus signs, then I'm had to use the let function. Sorry, that's only gonna work in newer versions of Excel uh, to substitute the plus sign with nothing, right? So you got basically uh, one, two, three different choices of what you're gonna copy to your workbook. Also added instructions here on copy this worksheet to any workbook with a list of phone numbers and right click move or copy. And I changed it from sheet one to country code list so it won't um, you know, run into that same name as yours. All right, well, hey, I wanna thank Daniel for tagging me in that question and I wanna thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.